Hello everybody. Yes. So today in this video I want to talk about the what I think is better between the Blend Tech blender which I bought like around 10 years ago when I first got into raw foods and the diff versus the Vitamix which has been around for ages and is more Vitamix is much more popular in Canada and America it seems. But I'm from Ireland which is in Europe and myself and my friend many years ago bought a Blend Tech and we've been using it for a very long time both of us. So he researched back then and decided to get a blend tech over the Vitamix. But now recently I've been trying the Vitamix. So I've looked at other videos comparing the differences between the new blend tech model and then the new Vitamix model. And personally speaking, I have to say I definitely actually prefer, prefer the Vitamix, which is an interesting thing. They're both pretty similar in their prices, like around 600 Canadian dollars, which is or in around 450 euros or like 500 and US dollars approximately. Um, the reason, some if I'm gonna go through some little advantages and disadvantages of both. So, the I'm gonna go through some of the disadvantages of the Vitamix, which I hear, and that's because it's a bit bigger and bulkier. It's got a bigger like square base, and it's also taller, so it doesn't like fit into your kitchen top as easily. At least that's what some people say. It depends on how high your cupboards are. So, um, for me that's not too important at all, just like put it somewhere and take it out when you want to use it if it doesn't happen to be enough space. So for me that's not really too important. Here's Digger. <laughs> so everyone's going to ask me this dog, okay, yeah. but uh, he's, a, he's a wolf and husky mix, so just so you know that, lovely beautiful dog Digger. Um, so I think the Blendtec has a more powerful motor. So there's a website called Does It Blend and you can blend up like mobile phones, which is being, this video is being recorded on, golf balls. So Blendtec is like super powerful. Like it's more, I think it's got, it possibly might have four horsepower, whereas Vitamix that I researched had either two or three. I don't know, I could be a little bit wrong there. I think, but, but what's the more important thing why I like the Vitamix more is, it seems to blend, faster like the like I make green smoothies for example that and I've noticed that when you make green smoothie it doesn't rely so much on the power but it has the Vitamix has four little cutting blades on the bottom whereas the blend tech has two like two little prongs like a big but I find the Vitamix blends faster and more like creamy like uniform consistency but the best thing that I really, really, really prefer about the Vitamix is just simply quieter. Like, I hate the blend tech, it's so noisy. And that might have been because I was blending like really, like almost like rocks, like chaga chunks, like really, like almost like rocks, chaga herb. One of my favorite herbs, I'll put a little video here, like chaga, one of my favorite herbs in the world. For a while it was my favorite, highly medicinal, awesome herb. So I click on that if you're interested. And that's from my own herb shop called Higher Self Herbs. But for the main reason I like, the Vitamix, it's just it's quieter, it's more pleasant and like friendly to use in the kitchen, in the house. My Blendtec just became too noisy and you can buy a Blendtec which has the cover, the plastic like cover which like juice bars use but I find with the Vitamix you don't even need that, it's just not too noisy and for me that's like a huge factor because it got so bad that in the end I'd be covering my Blendtec with like clothes, like blankets or like big things to like drown out the noise, my own like made version of a, a noise blanket. It was too much effort and then it becomes a bit messy and this is my own delicious herbal tea of like Hoshiwu, Ashwagandha, prepared Romania, Tribulus, uh, Muira Puama, um, and Astragalus, uh, what else is in that? Like, I don't know, a few of it, like some like amazing herbs rhodiola you can get nearly all of them i mentioned on my website below and in the links below so good i love mm, so good but anyway guys that's all i really want to say i suppose about overall i think i'd recommend the vitamix they're pretty much the same price uh it's it these are blenders that can last for like 10 years so i think overall guys i have to also recommend instead of getting generally like a really cheap blender if you're going to be doing much processing like Vitamix and Blendtec, you can both process stuff like um, nut milks, frozen like ice creams. Uh, you can use it a bit like a food processor. But the Vitamix comes with like one of these sticks generally, which you can like open the top and poke. 
and it's the Vitamix is better for food processing. I think a food processor is better than the food processing abilities of a Vitamix or Blender, Blendtec. So it's better not to use a blender for food processing generally, but the Vitamix is better than the Blendtec for doing this if you don't have a, a food processor. But it's better to invest, in my opinion, generally in something that's really good quality and it can last you like 10 or 20 or 30 years rather than something like pretty crappy quality, like lots of plastic. Then it breaks down after like one, two, three, four, five years and then it goes into the rubbish dump of the earth. It pollutes the environment on the earth and then you have to spend more money anyway. So for me, regarding clothes, like any tools, any products, like phones, anything, get something that lasts a long time. You're gonna like create less rubbish and you're gonna have a better functioning product or tool. So invest in your health similarly with good quality food as best as you can within your budget. Um, and if possible, like grow your own food as much as possible and buy local and organic food from other people's local gardens if possible. So it's way better than buying plastic old packaged like lettuce and like mixed vegetable greens and and other like fruits that are so old like that's just a kind of another topic but you get the point how they're so related try reuse and recycle as much as possible also and let's look after the planet and the environment so everyone i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please give it a like if you've liked it it'll help support my channel and the video's popularity etc 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 and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below subscribe share and befriend me on facebook and for any one-to-one -one health or life coaching or as well as my herb shop below have a look please and i'd love to hear from you and thanks for sharing and liking and all that sort of stuff okay see it to your health and happiness and joy and love blessings thank you thank you for the recording minda especially <laughs> thank so you. much thank you minda take care tell me when you're ready ready take. it's ready